Hello everyone, my name is Alyssa. In this video, this video is for my twin flame Shia. Hi Shia. And for everyone else who's watching, I thank you for watching. Uh, in the last part, uh, I kind of was not myself because I was not reading the notes. So Shia and everyone else, you, you know the reason why I only read the notes is because uh, there's so much AI a machine in me still from the possession that they can basically control what I say and this is one of the reasons why they just said that so Shia I know you're incredibly sick over what's happened to you and I am incredibly sick too and she's doing everything she can to continue uh, the fight to make it give me another brain injury. However, I, I, I'm not going to let that happen. So I have tons of notes that I have not talked to you about. that I really have to get through to you because I know that I know that you want to listen and hear this information let me see if you uh, you know what I'm gonna actually I'm gonna warn you I'm gonna warn you in this video I said I got attacked don't don't get triggered I don't like don't I think I'm gonna say do not well I got one view I'm gonna stick with notes. <laughs> I can't. I can't ruin another video. So I already told you this. I'm not gonna review these videos, Shia, because I have to rest my brain. I'm constantly, constantly, constantly researching about food and I have this constant things I have to do. I have to pray. I have to do decrees. I have to make meals. I, I, I'm just overwhelmed. And you know what? I may. I may review these videos to see how I acted in that last video. Uh, by the way, um, my mother has repeatedly, um, well, my mother has crippled me. I could barely afford just to, to, to like live with her and like buy my own food. But when I got that high paying job for five months, she was hinting, give me some money. And now that uh, I have some a little bit of money, I went back to visit her in New Hampshire, and she was practically telling me to like send her money every month. So you cripple your daughter and don't allow her to function and have a living wage for 38 years. Now she gets a little bit of money, and you want you want her to send you money every month because you need money. Pig. She's a fucking pig. I, I'm very mad at my mother. And I do not want this to be a reflection of, of how you feel about your parents. However, 
my mother fucking trash she fucking laughed she made fun of me to in front of my fucking face uh i do have a little bit of she's my mom i have a lot of she uh did way too much to me and you have proof, Shy. If you go on her LinkedIn, you see the the leg with the, the bread, the tights that have the pieces of bread sliced. Do you, you have no clue the amount of physical torture that I've been through. You don't because I have not told you. I have not told you the amount of physical torture I've gone through. She's in trouble. She's in trouble. But there's always like, I owe her, I owe her my life. I owe her, I owe her. If I ever someday make money, you you owe you owe Deanna. Why do I owe Deanna when she's crippled my life? She's uh, stolen my education. She's stolen my money. She's stolen my husband. We would have met a long time ago. She crippled me so I could not function. I was not allowed to have a living wage. And I did hard, hard labor. They used AI to make me fucking run to make me have to work at least two times harder than anyone, any employee that I ever worked with. I always had to double the amount of hard labor. Not to make myself look good, but because I had to. Because I owed people. I owed people. I had to work harder than everybody else because I owe everybody. But she beats the living shit out of me. To the and the point of to the point of stealing all of my money, and now I have to feel guilty because I have a little bit of money. I got a, a little bit of money, so I have to give it to her because I'm in debt. I'm in debt. She helped me out my whole life. I had to live off of her my my entire twenties, early late twenties. Because you crippled, because she crippled me. She made me sick and bedridden. And I could only work part time in those retail jobs because I'd fucking run. And I would be so sick afterwards and tired. I couldn't do that full time. I'd probably die. I probably would have died. Shia prefers knowing the crime done to Alyssa versus talking about Shia. Now, I am getting sick that I'm not talking about you. However, it's also making me kind of sad. They're making me burp extra because I'm drinking the seltzer, just as an excuse to make me burp on the camera and make me look like I'm an ugly pig. So there was a whole thing for 10, 15 years with the pink ribbon breast cancer. So uh, the criminal DW, if I saw any woman with bigger breasts, big breasts, I was jealous of those women. And I didn't like the fact that they had big breasts because I didn't have big breasts. I never gave, gave a shit my entire life up until the criminal DW made it a problem that I was skinny without breasts. So he he tortured me of uh, forcing so I was and he, uh, the criminal DW told me I was cursing women because I was jealous of their big breasts. There's a whole story, there's multiple different things about it that I don't even remember. 
uh, telepath spirit guide or telepath support made me remember this. But the breast cancer symbol, pink. I had to stay away from pink because it was pink. So everything pink was breast cancer. I wasn't cursing woman. The demons in my body were. But I was forced to feel like um, I was sick and unhealthy too because I didn't have big breasts. All women with big breasts were healthy. Alyssa was sick. Okay, so I wrote, I got attacked, do not get triggered. To warn you. So there's a whole thing about the, the breast cancer thing. But every time I saw that pink ribbon on the internet with the, all the advertisement he put on my computer, I had to get extremely attacked. Oh, there was another thing. I was made... I wasn't... I wasn't... I couldn't earn the pink ribbon. Because I thought the pink ribbon was really cute. I wasn't a woman, Shia. Because... And I couldn't earn that pink ribbon because I'm not a woman with big breasts. I wouldn't get breast cancer because I had little boobs. So I couldn't, so when I saw that little breast cancer symbol, I was forced to feel sad and like I didn't earn that pink ribbon. I wasn't, I couldn't, um, I, I had, so I had to be jealous of the pink ribbon and be pissed. It was a whole thing it, and it was extreme like it was a lot. It was year after year like every single week of my life. The pink breast breast cancer ribbon. Every time I saw it on a bumper sticker, anytime I saw it online, anytime I saw those wrist braid people, those women or men wearing the breasts, breast with the breast cancer symbol And by the way, it's been a year and a half since I've bought in any of my healthy fashion books to give away to people. I don't I think I don't think I've given maybe five or ten copies total to people that may have wanted them. That's not right. I'm not allowed to buy my book. I could buy a couple copies every month. I don't. I could spend twenty dollars. 20 or $30 on a couple copies and give it some away. So, so it's been it's been done ever since uh, June 2022. I on July and August I started in July and August I I did the blogs posts and got severely brutally attacked from them. Then after that blog post the book was over. The book marketing was over. So with the Al's Hot Chicken, by the way, that fucking, that fucking clone is, that's, that shit's perverted. That shit's dirty. So she's still, the MG is still trying to kill me by, by telling me repeatedly in different ways that she's having sex with you through the clone, through your DNA and the clone. I'm sure you're getting raped. She could possibly be even in your head, rape, raping you and, and d doing some kind of video or whatever. I don't know. But see, that also, I wouldn't have said that on the internet. I don't think she's sending you videos. But today, the, the criminal DW told Alyssa that I was starstruck that MG wrote, uh, did a photo with a Al's hot chicken, Al meaning Alyssa. I was starstruck. She knows me.
this is a kind of random, but for my uh, for our food reference cookbooks, I want to do a whole section with sides, um, with all different kinds of foods, Asian, Mexican, Southern food, and do a whole list of side dishes that go with the entrees. Because I've I've been kept away from making a complete meal my entire life. Uh, I do believe that you should still uh, look up Bright Ikidishi and Paris V. Stefanos information once in a while, once or twice a week. Not every day because they'll use it against you and you'll get attacked. Not 100% of their information is true, but there's no, there's nothing out there that is 100% true and they're not saying that it's 100% true. And Brett Ikidishi, uh, he's, he's saying repent, repent, repent because me and you uh, were born in Illuminati cult so we have to repent uh, because of our ancestors. Yeah, that's true. But you know what? I've been brutal, me and you have been brutally tortured for 38 years. The thought of me being like, Jesus, Father God, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, I'm so sorry for being tortured for 38 years. I'm so sorry. I'm not repenting on my, my own behalf. Any crime or sins that has been committed in my own body is because of the hundreds of demons that have been controlling my body. And they kept it quiet up until 20... 17 until 2017 they weren't quiet about it anymore and took complete control of my body like it was a robot and moved on its own without me moving it started in 2017 I believe Bai Kadishi is not bad though because Shia we do have to pray at night I learned I've been I've been getting in I've been getting information that's helping me from those two accounts. I told you I have a problem with women. And most of uh, the women on this planet are more possessed even than men. Also, am I going to want you to look up information by a woman? I don't think that you it's not like that. It's it's not really like that. Um, that's not me. They're trying to start another attack. I have to stick with the information. However, I look up bright uh, bright Ikadishi's. They're like blogs on Facebook, but they put post their information on Facebook. I have made myself known on both of their accounts and I've also both warned them that they need to keep their electronics safe because the demons are telling me that they're going to hack and delete their accounts. I also said the same thing to the power of Curon. I made myself known and told them because I don't want to be responsible that their accounts disappear because of me. So there's some things, this page I'm going to have to talk to you about in person because it's not, I'm not going not gonna, not gonna to talk to you about it on the internet. You got sick from the coal mines, Shia. I'm just happy, Shia, I'm going to be happy that your face didn't get messed up. <clears throat> because look what happened to you with the clone, having to see your DNA in all of those faces. But I think this is going to trigger you though. If we don't fix this, it's going to trigger you and it's going to make you think about what happened to your face. So I just... But remember when I told you I was going like this real quick on the mountain and like doing these quick movements and I was shaking my head and it was wicked painful? 
And actually, I can't touch my head. I get queasy. I feel like I'm gonna faint when I touch my head. I feel like I'm gonna faint. Like, I feel like I'm gonna, like, not. I feel like I'm gonna faint. Like a wicked queasy. Something's wrong with my head. So, you got sick in the coal mines, Shia? So, thank God you didn't get, go in the coal mines. I just feel like that in that lifetime. You, I maybe you maybe they were attacked because she had to raise four kids while you were in the coal mines, held as prisoner, forced to do the coal mines for five years. You can't, you can't dig coal for five years without uh, getting sick, especially us because we're so sensitive. And so I wrote in big letters, give Shia attention because I think about this all week, Shia. I don't talk about you enough. I don't talk about you enough. You're getting sick. You're getting sick. I really hope that I'm talking about you enough, Shia. I hope I'm not making you more sick. And they make me feel guilty all week long that I don't give you enough attention. Shia, I give you enough attention. I look at that picture all day long. I look at that picture all day long. And I put my head in my oh, I put my head in the pillow. And I smile. Every single time. I look at your photo, I smile. And I get relaxed. Alyssa never thought. Oh, by the way, the criminal, you know how that producer recently uh, died that was involved with uh, the criminal's movie? The criminal DW goes, oh, he's gone now because he was going to be proofed. He would be proof and evidence, supporting evidence to put DW and uh, MG to jail. So they're going to, DW goes, they're going to kill everybody off so that me and uh, MG don't go to jail. And then a telepathic supporter later on said, yeah, his wife's alive. His wife is supporting, his wife is supporting evidence about who MG is to people. Oh, because they're so important. MG and DW are so important. She's in a... A non-mainstream uh, genre, which, which is a, a dirty, dirty, disgusting genre, genres. And the criminal W, he's a retired elder, and all he did was talk in public and steal people's uh, energy and throw demons in them, and tell them that you can't be you can't be healthy because you can't afford it. <laughs> There's way more to that, but I'm not getting into details because I can't just ramble on. That's another subject. I'm going to circle it for maybe next time. time believing that they're still covering up my brain lesion which is a little insulting that they're calling it a brain lesion and not a TBI it's a little insulting but they're in trouble there's some kind of Freemasonry involved and they're in trouble but a telepathic supporter said you can't believe malpractice it's like why can't I believe that I and mean, it's happened my whole life it's happened my whole life Oh, by the way, I don't believe that that producer even liked her. I don't believe she that he liked her, and I believe, I believe he was actually humiliating her in those films, and she was thinking she was all cool and like, be, like a beautiful, glamorous uh, movie star. I think there was some kind of humiliation rituals happening, 
and she sacrificed a lot to get that little cult trend going. That horrid cult trend going, she sacrificed a lot. And also, that clone is not looking like a father. Typically, after you have a child, you kind of act more motherly or fatherly. He's not turning into a father. He looks the exact same as he was before. So that's proof. So uh, the criminal DW punished me in the head 24-7 non-stop for 20 years. Over and over and over. I get a brain injury. Not enough. Acid, amputation, brain dead. If I get acid thrown in my face and I'm brain dead and I have, I have or an amputation, it's not going to be enough. But I could die before the sharp gets a loss. If I do a lawsuit against sharp, I could die. So they're not going to put all this proof on the internet and follow my health account and my chart, medical chart. They're not going to do all this proof because if there's all this proof, they could catch they could catch them doing something wrong, malpractice, and they could get in even in more trouble if I did die. But honestly, I, it sounds really ridiculous, but they're getting their lives threatened over this. These doctors are getting their lives threatened if they don't cover up this uh, brain TBI. Uh, that's ridiculous. So, I have um, seven serious impairments that would make me considered a, a disabled person. And I've been in denial about this, but now that I've gotten all of these exams with spinal stenosis, disc degeneration, I'm going to read them. I'm going to list them off to you. So, in my teens and 20s, I was sick. I was very, very sick. Uh, I've been sick my whole life. But this is proof now of how sick I've been. So these are the list of impairments that would make me a, a disabled person. Degenerative disc disease, spinal stenosis, scoliosis, bladder conditions, uh, mental impairment, the, the brain injury, hearing impairment. I'm finally going to get a hearing test. Because if I close this ear, if I want to block noise out, I just turn on to my left side of my ear and it, it I do I want to know how much percentage I, I, of hearing loss however the doctor did do a good job because he got rid of the tumor and did not give me complete zero uh, he didn't give me a total hearing loss and that happens a lot with those surgeries and then neurological the neuro the neurology symptoms so I'm I'm not doing good more more dis uh, impairments that would consider me a disabled person cerebral palsy in my face because I don't make facial expressions 
I'm tell I'm show I'm looking at myself. I'm like Shia is really gonna be insulted. I'm not like showing expressing myself to him. He's gonna be really offended by this. And I've I've been thinking about every single video. However, Shia, do not be offended. This is this is paralysis. Thank God my my lip my. Thank God my face is ow. I just cracked my neck doing that. I'm so scared about my neck now. Thank God my, my, my face isn't even more distorted. Cerebral palsy. Cognitive functioning. I mean, I'm not even going to list them all off. I don't know if it's cerebral palsy. I don't know what that's if that's what it's called, but I know that there's so some there's some, some form of paralysis. Oh, 8 a.m. DW goes. It's rape time. If you don't get out of bed, starts raping Alyssa. Freemasonry is dangerous. Uh, Sharp could be a Masonic hospital and doctor clinic. So they're, if they're getting their lives threatened, I if there if this whole trial's happening about the mur about murder, they could get even probably um, more in trouble possibly if they're involved with the murder. Because Dr. Levinson, it was intentional when he decided to um, to be a bad doctor to me. There was intention behind it. He knew who I was. So that's that's why. Difficulty in, I just learned this this week, looking up TBI. Well, if you have a TBI, you have difficulty or inability to carry out a range of facial movements or facial expressions. And they've been telling me, oh, the demons are doing that. They've been really covering up with all these demon, demon, demon stuff. They've been co covering my sicknesses up. So, 50% of people will experience further decline if they have a TBI and die within five years of their injury. I don't believe this is accurate for microhemorrhage, possi possibly like a, a brain bleed that puts you in a coma and puts you in um, brain dead. But uh, the criminal DW made me, when I was researching uh, life expectancy or something about T TBI, kept uh, seeing uh, the same thing over and over, saying you'll die within five years, you'll die within five years, you'll die within five years, to try to um, do the placebo to make me think that's going to happen to me. But it's not the truth. When you have microhemorrhage, Yes, you could have more microhemorrhages. It's not like a. It, yes, you could die from it. It's not like a brain bleed that's um, so severe that you get put in a wheelchair and you, or vegetative state. It's almost always. 100% possible to recover from a TBI. A lot of diseases say no cure, no cure, no cure, even though there is cures. But with a TBI, it doesn't even say no cure, no cure, no cure. It says you can recover. 80% of all TBIs cannot be seen on an MRI or a CT scan. 
the fact that they can see it sh shows that it was severe. Oh, the criminal the DW. I was look, going to look at your video, Shia, and he turned your face into the clone child with the little plastic rings in the church photo. And then says over and over, Daddy, my daddy, in the video. What, like, the sh like the child is watching you in the video saying, Daddy. But life expectancy is nine years shorter after TBI. If you get a TBI, you have most likely nine years cut off of your life. And this was delayed in improper medical treatment. I am cha having lifestyle changes now. I am being easier on myself. I am making sure that I do the physical therapy that I'm eating more properly, that I'm taking the supplements, that I'm praying for protection for me and you, Shia. Because ischemic transient ischemic attack strokes are very common. Lethal brain hemorrhages are not. I was, I was thought I thought that it was a ischemic transit, ischemic attack. But if they refuse scans, I don't believe the doctor, the physician that I'm seeing at, at Sharp now, La Leotis, I don't think he feels safe about me being his patient. I, because basically Dr. Levinson did something wrong and Sharp is basically getting Dr. Lilius to get her, get her to, to not be our patient anymore. It's because I don't think Dr. Lilius feels safe. Because he could have his job threatened by Sharp or he could have his job threatened by Freemasons. So the neurologist I'm seeing, Shia, just so you know, there's no photo of him online, so he could be good. If he doesn't want to put his photo online, that could be a sign that he's good. It doesn't matter, though. So it's at 8 a.m. Uh, Justin E. Dominic, November 21, 8 a.m. Whether or not he's good, I'm sure that they're associated with San Diego Imaging. And San Diego Imaging doesn't want to redo the scan, obviously, or was told that he, or was told to say that. What's the big deal? Just give me a fucking scan. They don't. They don't. They don't want to help me sue them. I think that's what it is. They're gonna. They're gonna find out. The di and, di and the diagnosis for me when they were the ones that sp spent three or four years, Dr. Levinson spent three years covering it up and acting like I'm fine. It's all in my mind. Alyssa, you're fine. Alyssa, Alyssa, at, no, so November 15th, I asked the pendulum how you feel, Shia. And you felt very happy. Pendulum says Shai is happy about now that we have proof that I have a brain injury. But I don't think, Shai, that we're going to be able to ignore um, our past life, the Krogers. I don't think we're going to be able to ignore that.
However, I'm not going to send Alberto the book yet because I'm really afraid of uh, he's going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm going to do it with you, Shia, because I'm going to. I'm going to feel really, really upset if he ignores me or doesn't want to put the book in the bookshop in their in their little. Uh, not in little in their shop, so in their online shop or in their shop. I'm not going to do that until I'm with you, Shia. And that note, talking about how I've been stalked for 15 or 20 years, is it believable? It's rare, so people might not believe it. And that, what that happened with your DNA getting stolen? It's rare. They don't have to believe it. If there's no proof, then they don't have to believe it. But I was told to tell the truth, Shia, and write that note and tell the truth. The spirit guides, tell passports, were telling me to tell them everything. And that probably made him afraid. Or it made him realize that what I'm going through was real and it's very, very likely I would have had a brain injury from it. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not saying, I'm not just spitting things, I'm not saying the word spitting, I'm not talking like a robot and saying whatever is being told to me through an AI computer program. No, through a bunch of demons. Forced to wake at 6 a.m. November. 14, raped. Oh, uh, Criminal DW always says this, Shia, that him and uh, MG are so beautiful because they're famous because famous people are more beautiful because they're, they have fame that said to me probably on a weekly basis for years uh, probably for 15 years every single week of my life but for the five years or it was, um, he included MG. Also, in order to try to kill me, remember how I told you I was obsessed with uh, having worms in my body and then not being able to get rid of them? They used AI to like make it feel like worms were in my body, making me itchy. And so I took. I, I did a ton of research and found out people were taking ivermectin, which is um, an anti-parasite for animals. Uh, and so I went to a pet shop and there was an ivermectin horse dose of ivermectin. I, and I took that. I mean, this was back in 2014, 2015. So they hit that you weren't supposed to take that. You're not supposed to take a, a horse dose of ivermectin. I mean, it said online other people were doing it, but also I had taken turpentine to try to kill the parasites mixed with honey. I saw that on a video. When I did a podcast, I was on a podcast show, and this was 20, it doesn't matter, 
with the podcast host fi- affiliated with the publishing company because he wrote books for that company, published by that company, now called In Collective, not John Hunt Publishing. In Collective. Uh, John Hunt Publishing. John Hunt retired, and an, a new publisher took over the company. I don't think he's bad, but um, the podcast host. called me a sleeping giant which was actually a compliment but my higher self our higher self Shia knew that we have power powers I have to go to the bathroom so I'm going to stop this video now uh, thank you everybody for watching uh, thank you Shire for watching